the last thing I'm going to say is that uh, I created a video um, on uh, uh, the day before the most important election, the Iowa caucus, um, that, I intend, that I created with the intent to inspire our supporters. Um, and, um, and it was very successful. It got a million views. And uh, I'll show you the video. Um, is that okay? Do we have just like five more minutes? All right. Now, even as we speak, there are those who are preparing to divide us. The spin masters, the negative ad peddlers, who embrace the politics of anything goes. Well, I say to them tonight, there is not a liberal America and a conservative America. There is the United States of America. There is not a black America and a white America and Latino America and Asian America. There's the United States of America. The pundits, the pundits like to slice and dice our country into red states and blue states, red states for Republicans, blue states for Democrats. But I've got news for them too. We worship an awesome God in the blue states and we don't like federal agents poking around in our libraries in the red states. We coach Little League in the blue states and yes, we've got some gay friends in the red states. There are patriots who oppose the war in Iraq and there are patriots who supported the war in Iraq. We are one people, all of us pledging allegiance to the Stars and Stripes all of us defending the United States of America. In the end, in the end, in the end, that's what this election is about. Do we participate in a politics of cynicism or do we participate in a politics of hope? One voice can change a room. And if one voice can change a room, then it can change a city. And if it can change a city, it can change a state. And if it can change a state, it can change a nation. And if it can change a nation, it can change the world. Your voice can change the world. said one voice can change the world. Your voice can change the world. So basically what I did with this video is that I took two of his most inspiring speeches and then I took footage of the biggest crowds he ever had up to that point in the campaign. And then I put music that I found on the internet um, uh, that I thought was inspiring and I, and I put it all together. And I was trying to create a viral video that would uh, that would be, you know, mobilize people to go out and, and volunteer and donate. Um, so there was a good response to it, and I went to my boss and I said, uh, can we please put my video on the page on our website, on the donate page of our website, where we're asking people to donate money? Uh, and he thought about it for a minute and he said, well, I'll tell you what, we will do a test. And I said, well, why do we need to do a test? I got a, million video, uh, I got a million views for this video. Clearly people love it. Why do we need to do a test? Why can't we just put it on the donate page? He said, well, let's do a test. Half of the people who come to BarackObama.com will see your video. The other half of the people who come to BarackObama.com will see this photo that I think is pretty boring of the Obama family hugging looking very nice and friendly. Um, so, which performed better? Over 50% more effective was the photograph. Once they had those statistics, it only took about a day to do this test. Once they had those statistics, my video got yanked from the website and, um, and never used again. And of course, my feelings were, were hurt. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and sometimes I think to this day, you know, it's one of the great mysteries um, of my life. Sometimes late at night I stay up and I think, you know, does God exist and why didn't my video do better than the, than the photo? Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but it was an important lesson um, because I realized 
Never be so arrogant that you think that the message that you came up with is the best message. Try out different messages. Listen to what your supporters, the feedback that your supporters are giving you. Maybe a better message is going to be, is going to be coming from the rank and file, is going to be coming from the supporters than is coming from the people at the top of the organization. Always listen. Always think like a scientist and combine the kind of creative inspiration of a poet with the rigorous science of a scientist. Um, so we were able to build these meaningful relationships. We mobilized people to take concrete actions. And they were able to make history. And now it's your turn. So uh, stay in touch. Uh, you can contact me this way. We're going to have time for a few questions. And before we do that, I just want to say one thing. Um, my, um, hopefully this isn't a question that's already going to be asked, but um, some people have already asked me, what's, what's, what's my advice um, to um, the cooperative movement to help grow um, the movement? And um, I would say, I mean, I could spend another three hours talking to you about that, but I would say the simplest thing that everybody in this room can do right now, <laughs> or sometime today, or before you leave this conference, um, is join the Facebook group. Um, and then you can go back and talk to your members and, and, and encourage them to join the Facebook group. I heard last night that there are one billion members of cooperatives around the world. Imagine if even 1% of those people signed up for the Facebook group or followed the Twitter account. That would be a million voices spreading the message of the cooperative movement. So that is one very, very simple thing. It will take five seconds of your time. If you don't have a Facebook account, you'll have to sign up, but that also takes five seconds. If you don't have a Twitter account, also takes five seconds. This will take maybe a minute of your time, and, it'll, and when you go back uh, to your countries and talk to the members of your cooperatives on the ground, it'll take maybe a minute of their time. But I'm confident that if you made this a priority, you could quickly grow the Facebook group um, to thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, if not even a million members. Um, uh, so go do that, because uh, it'll make a, a big difference in helping to grow the movement. Thanks very much.